And welcome to your Go Market Betting Charts of the Day. It's Wednesday, the 20th of September. Mike Smith here and Anna to Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So across the news, of course, US markets last night gave up the gains from the previous day in another choppy session. Markets all looking very cautious, and this is going to be a common theme across today's news. Prior to that FOMC meeting decision, of course, the Fed are going to give their interest rate decision at around about 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So central banks are very much in focus all of this week, really. Got the ECB, the PBOC and the Fed all giving their latest interest rate thinking. U.S. futures are just below neutral in the early Asian trading session. Asian markets are following that U.S. lead and caution is again the order of the day. All Asian markets to the downside at this stage. ASX is down around 0.6%. We saw the People's Bank of China come out and keep interest rates as they were last month. Uh, that was expected, but still, we did see drops in Asia subsequent to that. I think there was a hope that there may be some softening of their stance. European futures are pointing to a cautious open again. The VIX is up slightly, but still near that support around pre-pandemic levels. US dollar index rallied at the back end of the US session and so ended up for the day. It's near neutralish so far today, but gold pulled back because of that in the US session to close slightly lower. Copper did likewise and all also retreated from the recent high slightly. It is down in Asia today, which is noteworthy. We do have some EIA data out tonight of the US, so we'll get a picture of whether we getting demand on the oil reserves at this stage and that may move oil prices to some degree. Bitcoin was an interesting place yesterday. It did breach the 200 EMA, held that quite comfortably and is looking to challenge the next key level at 27,600. Obviously, outside of the US interest rate decision, there is other data coming out. We've already referenced the PBOC, but also this afternoon we've got UK CPI and PPI and the EI data also due. Not quiet over the next couple of days either. We've got weekly jobs coming out of the US tomorrow. And we've got some PMI data coming out across the board. Just all the major economies are giving their latest PMI figures. Uh, so that'll be viewed with interest also. A couple of charts are caught our eye today. On the ASX, Aristocrat Leisure is interesting today. You can see there is a resistance level at around about this 4170 level, which has been breached. We're way off the highs of the session, however, so it'll be worthwhile seeing where this closes at the back end of the session. But nevertheless, an interesting move. One wonders, however, whether 44 may become the resistance on this level, looking at previous price action. But one to keep an eye on, nevertheless, and certainly some interesting buying coming into this. FX market's very choppy today. We're having a look at the Euro Aussie. You can see it's pushed up to this 165.60. For most of the session today, uh, certainly over the last four hours, that's where we've been. It is an important pivot level and we could see it move up to this R1 level around about 166 should we get a breach of that. So worth keeping an eye on during the course of the day today. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.